Hi everyone, Missella here. I hope that you guys are having a great week. So we're going to be harvesting some goodies today from the garden. So come take a walk with me and we'll see what we get. So let's take a look at our zucchinis. They are now starting to get the powdery mildew. See those spots right there? And I let a couple of them grow um, really big so they didn't produce any more zucchinis for me but that's okay because we're towards the end of the growing season here. And there's another here, which is a really big one. I think this might be the biggest one I've grown. So let's take a look here. So we'll lift out the ground here and twist it. And it should pop right off. There we go. So we got our zucchinis. Now, most of our tomatoes aren't ripe yet. I had a late start and we had a pretty cold spring. I, I think even towards the end of June. So. They are all still green, except for a couple of plants that we'll be harvesting right now. So I'm so glad we can finally harvest tomatoes. We've been waiting all season. These are a very pretty variety. Oh no, we have blossom and rot. So this happens to your tomato plants when there is a calcium deficiency. So that's too bad. Oh darn, there's another one here. I did not see that. Well, I got one of these ones here. I don't have my little knife with me, so I'm just trying to pinch these off. So these are pretty mild peppers. Sweet Italian peppers. They get pretty long though. Look how pretty they are. I'll also be harvesting some more West Indian burgerkins. I uploaded a video on these about a couple of weeks ago, so if you'd like to know more information on that. Um, these are pretty interesting miniature cucumbers. They're similar to cucamelons, except they are full of spines. They have spiny skins, but they are sweet like cucumber, a slight lemon flavor or taste. I like kale, great texture, and it's pretty tasty. So I just simply just chop up some garlic, a little salt and pepper, stir fry in olive oil, and you're good to go. Let's grab some of these Tuscan or dinosaur kale, also called lacinato kale. This one has a slightly sweet but nutty flavor. I do love the leaves. You know, it's got the texture of a dinosaur skin, that's why it's called dinosaur kale. I love the blue-green color. This is also great in stir-fry or even a pasta dish. It is humid out today. Anyways, we have some nice little harvest here. Some beautiful kale. Our big zucchinis, I'll show you in a minute here. Some beautiful tomatoes. A few of these sweet Italian frying peppers. First time I'm growing this, my auntie gave me some seedlings a few months ago and so I'm not sure what other recipes I can use it for except this one Filipino recipe. It's called Pinak Bet. It's like a vegetable um, stew dish. So we'd like to know if you have any suggestions on how to use these sweet Italian frying peppers. They are very mild. And a few of these West Indian burgerkins. So I think I beat my old record from the past couple of years. So this year I did something different. I watered the zucchini seedlings with worm casting tea and also put more worm castings, uh, more, more worm castings than I normally would. So I'm not sure if that helped because even my kale plants, if you watch my recent video on how tall they are, a couple of them are over, I think six feet tall now. Those are also growing really tall and big so I'm not sure if it's something different I did this year with a worm casting tea I think it's making a difference it, anyways I just know that worm castings are a great source of nutrients and also um, improves the nutrient absorption for our plants so really happy about this so that's our harvest for today cannot wait to use these fresh produce for cooking and baking. I think I'll be making some zucchini bread or zucchini muffins and maybe add some chocolate in it. So anyways, I um, would like to know what your favorite zucchini recipe is. Mine is zucchini bread and zucchini muffins. And thank you so much for joining me today. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day everyone and happy gardening.